Hey guys, this is Joe here and today I'm going to be showing you how to make your Minecraft vanilla server. So yes, let's get started. So then, to start off with, you want to go down into the description and click the minecraft.net link and it will send you to the Minecraft page. Then you want to come over here and uh, look for get Minecraft and click down and click download it here. Once you're on here, you want to just scroll down a bit or just look for a multiplayer server. And then once you're over here, you want to look for a blue, one of these little blue lines, Minecraft underscore server 1.9. This could be a later version, it could be 1.10, it's up to you. You know, this, this will work probably for most versions. If it doesn't, I will update it. So yes, once you click on here, you want to download it. Keep, so it's just downloaded. Then you want to make a file onto your desktop and drop that in there. While we're on this website, you want to copy this Java all the way up to no GUI, but miss out this little full stop, just miss it out. This will be down in the description as well. So then once you've done that, you want to just minimize or close and come into here. So first thing I always do to these jar files, I get rid of the numbers. If you keep the numbers in there, it will mess everything up. Get all the way, so it just says Minecraft underscore server, nothing else. Then you want to make a text file. Or a text document open it up I suggest to open it up in normal notepad it's a bit more easier then you want to paste that command in so this is where it comes very uh, crucial where you need to rename this so this file matches this name exactly here if they don't match this will not work nice and simple if you do want to increase your RAM you can you change these numbers there'll be another video on later on about that so yes now we need to go down to save as and go to all files so you can see all your files in here so this is where you rename it so I normally call it run you can call it run start go and so on and then this is where another crucial point is you want to put dot bat bat this will make it a run file if you don't do this it will not work you will not be able to execute the Java line to run this server save close out and you should see some little cogs and then you can get rid of that old text file so you just got these two files so now you will want to double click and it will start up it will give you a few errors and uh, it will shut down it will request you to update your EULA so this is the end the end agreement for the users and as it says false you need to change this to true so you're accepting the Minecraft EULA save you can edit that in notepad or notepad plus plus and then click run again now i do get a few errors because my java is uh, a bit bit odd you can say so it you shouldn't really get errors but if you do that's okay but if they do spam after you have a big problem put it that way now another question i had on one of my older videos was if this closes straight away when you try and launch it what you need to do is you want to come down and just type in java and go to the config java and go to update and update your java so we'll update it here it is already to update that's why sometimes the servers don't work because your java is not up to date and if that still doesn't work uninstall your java reinstall 64 bit java 8 or whatever number it is after that so yes that is how you make your minecraft server and to make sure if once you want to connect to it so you use local host to connect to your server or you can you can add it as a server or go direct connect We'll log in and then first thing you want to do in your console is go op space your minecraft username so I actually op to somebody else then so now I'm op so now I can do game mode one and fly around on my server so yes that is how you make your server now I will have a video later on how to port forward so your friends can join so stay tuned and make sure to subscribe like favorite and make sure to suggest tutorials down below in the comments and hopefully this has helped I don't mind answering any questions you have about this Minecraft server. Hopefully, you know, you can get it started. Sometimes they can be a bit finicky. If it is such a big problem and you're having loads of problems, go back to this page and click on the wiki link and it will take you how to do it and it will give you loads of problems to fix. So yes, once again, thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe, like, favourite and go and follow me on Twitter and I will see you next time. Goodbye.